a great pleasure to me to be here. When the Ukrainian president is speaking English, it's amazing because in many instances, his English pronunciation is just like a native English speaker's. So in this English pronunciation video, I'm going to analyze the Ukrainian president speaking English and show you exactly what it is that he's doing that's making him speak English like a native. So that if you're a Ukrainian speaker and you're currently in a situation where you need to quickly improve your English, then you're going to know exactly what the sounds are that can affect your pronunciation and stop you from speaking clearly and confidently. And then I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how to make the difficult English sounds that the Ukrainian president is pronouncing so clearly and so well in English so that you can do exactly the same. My name is Michael Roberts. I believe that you deserve confidence like a native. I run the British Accent Method, which is an English pronunciation coaching program for non-native English speakers so they can speak like a native and grow their careers using English. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do to speak English like a native. And then if you're watching this video in my Ukrainian playlist, you're going to see specific step-by-step -step tutorials on how to master every sound that I'm going to show you in this video today. You're going to discover the top 10 tips from the Ukrainian president speaking English, and you're going to be able to apply them to your English starting right now. So let's dive in. Let's start with the English R sound. I want you to listen out here for how the Ukrainian president says, I think you read everything. I think you read everything. Right, he pronounces the English R sound like this, R, 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 without the tip of his tongue touching the roof of his mouth. I think you read everything. This can be very, very challenging for most non-native speakers of English because in many languages around the world, the R sound is pronounced with the tip of the tongue touching the roof of the mouth. The Ukrainian president pronounces it like this, R, red, instead of something more along the lines of this, R, red. Now, as we go through this video, you're going to see certain cards drop down from the top of the screen. These cards will show you step-by-step step how to pronounce in a lot more detail the specific sounds and points that I'm gonna highlight as I go through his pronunciation and show you exactly what he's doing so well and clearly. And if you're watching this video in my playlist for Ukrainian speakers, after this video, you're going to get each of those tutorials one by one. So keep watching. The next sound that the Ukrainian president pronounces like a native English speaker is the voiceless TH sound with your tongue between your teeth. Now listen out for how the Ukrainian president says three words here. Think. I think you read everything. They. <laughs> yes, they know before us. And thank. Thank you very much. Now, if you're a native speaker of Ukrainian, you might find that you would naturally pronounce this sound in English as more of a Z sound, Z, so you'd get Z or Zank, or like more of a T sound, so you get T or Tank. Now, this is a challenging sound for speakers of all languages, not just Ukrainian. If you want to pronounce it like more of a native speaker, to stick your tongue out in between your teeth, or have it just behind your teeth, but really pushing up against it, and enable airflow to come out in a, the technical name for it is a fricative manner, it just means that airflow is squeezing over the tongue, and it sounds like this. So you get think, they, thank. The next sound that the Ukrainian president pronounces like a native English speaker is the aspirated P sound. It's a great pleasure to me to be here. In many languages around the world, the sounds P, P, T, T and K in English K, are pronounced with what's called aspiration. P, T, K. That's quite a complicated name for something that's actually very simple. Take your hand right now and put it in front of your mouth. And I want you to say the B sound. What you'll feel is a slight puff of air. Now, if you say the P sound, if you still only feel a slight puff of air like this, but, 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 it probably means that you're pronouncing this sound without aspiration. In English, the P, T, and K sounds are pronounced with what's called aspiration. P, T, K. What that basically means is a big puff of air comes out your mouth when you release the consonant. So if you put your hand in front of your mouth and say, what you should feel is a big puff of air. Now I've got a tutorial that explains how to do this comprehensively in English. And the Ukrainian president does this very, very nicely. He does it just like a native English speaker, not pronouncing the P, T and K sounds without aspiration in English can give you more of a foreign accent in English. 
Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's only if you want to speak English with more of a native pronunciation that you might want to consider working on this. And I've got tutorials that are going to show you step by step how to do this. He's doing it very, very nicely here. And he's doing it because he's got a big puff of air coming out of his mouth when he says p -p -p. Also, what's very impressive about the way that he says the word priority. Their priority, my priority. The is he also pronounces the R sound here just like a native speaker again. He pronounces the R sound after the P sound like this. Pr, pr. Now, if you struggle to pronounce the R sound without your tongue touching the roof of your mouth at the beginning of words, you can find it even more challenging to do this after consonants, like here, okay, pr. It's much more challenging to pronounce the R sound without your tongue touching the roof of your mouth when it comes after another consonant. And that's what he's doing very, very nicely here. In my pronunciation coaching program, The British Accent Method, I have almost five hours of tutorials on how to do this after consonants in English because it can be so challenging. You don't necessarily need to watch five hours of training to do this. But the reason why I spent so long creating follow along step by step personal training style videos for the R sound in English is because especially when it comes after other consonants in English, it can be very, very challenging for native English speakers. That's why I'm so impressed with how the Ukrainian president is doing this here. And with Ukrainian clients who I've worked with in my program, they've been able to pronounce it just like the Ukrainian president is doing it here. And you can too. So really, really impressive. Let's keep going. The next sound I want you to listen to the Ukrainian president pronouncing like a native English speaker is the English H sound in the word have. Go ahead and listen now. I want Walt to know that uh, uh, now we have the new team. Can you hear how he pronounces it like this? Have. Have. Now, for speakers of many languages, including Ukrainian, because of the closest sound that you have to an H sound in your native language, it's often common to pronounce the H sound in English with some kind of noise in the throat before you actually release the sound. Something a bit like this. Have. Have. The way that we pronounce the H sound in English is very simply, you breathe out without any noise like this, and then you make a vowel sound. So let's say you're going to say the word have, like he did here. Now we have the new team. You'd put your mouth into an A ah position, ah, ah, ah. breathe out with your mouth in that position, and then turn the voicing on in your throat. You start with no vibrations in your throat, you can feel that by taking your hand and putting it on your throat and saying and there's no vibrations and then you turn the vibrations on ha, ha. and as soon as you feel the vibrations the moment that the vibrations start in your throat is the H sound. Once you follow the process I've just given you here it should be fairly quick and easy for you to do this and this makes a big improvement to your English pronunciation in English. That's why I'm so impressed with the Ukrainian president's pronunciation here because he does it fantastically just like a native English speaker I'm very impressed. The next consonant sound that the Ukrainian president pronounces like a native English speaker is the W sound w in the word world. Have a listen. I want Walt to know that. Can you hear how he pronounced it like this? Wa, 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 instead of v, 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 v. It can be quite common in Ukrainian for the W and V sounds to get mixed up. Instead of pronouncing the word word or world like this, wa is common for it to be pronounced like a v. V sound instead. These are two different sounds in English and we really want to try to pronounce the W sound without the bottom lip touching the top teeth. So instead of V, we want to get a W instead. If you can do this, it's going to make your English pronunciation flow much more like a native English speaker's and it's going to make your pronunciation of words that contain the W sound much more clear. I've got step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this in much more detail in the video that's coming from the top of the screen now or in the video that you're going to see after this one and by doing this it's going to create a massive breakthrough in your pronunciation and hopefully your confidence too in English. The next thing I want you to pay attention to is how the Ukrainian president pronounces his long English vowel sounds as long English vowel sounds. 
English contains many, many vowel sounds, a lot more than many other languages have. And in many other languages, you don't have long English vowel sounds. And as a result of that, you might often find yourself pronouncing words that contain long English vowel sounds as a short English vowel sound instead. Whilst there's not necessarily an issue with that, it can make your pronunciation hard to understand and sound like you're pronouncing another word instead. For example, if you take the word feet and pronounce it with a short i sound, it might sound like you're pronouncing the word fit instead. In the British accent method, we have a technique called the two second rule, which is a simple technique that you can take to immediately feel how to pronounce a long vowel sound with length. I won't go into that in too much detail here because I teach it comprehensively in another tutorial. What I want you to pay attention to here is two examples. The first is how the Ukrainian president pronounces the word laws with a long or vowel sound is just perfect. Have a listen. About 74 laws, new laws. And in the next example, I want you to listen to how he pronounces the word first with a long uh vowel sound. And I, I'm, I'm not uh, the first time to say in New York. He says this very quickly here, but he still pronounces it as a long uh vowel sound. And this particular long vowel sound can be very challenging for Ukrainian speakers in English. The way he pronounces it is perfect. You're going to discover how you can do this step by step for yourself in one of the videos you're going to see after this in this playlist. And how he pronounces the rest of the long vowel sounds in English is just fantastic. It's just like a native. And if you want to do it too, he's your inspiration. The next sound that the Ukrainian president pronounces like a native English speaker is the O diphthong. A diphthong in English is a combination of two vowel sounds that come together. So you start in the position of one vowel sound and end in the position of another vowel sound. Listen here to how the Ukrainian president says, so we are ready, and specifically how he says the word so. So we are ready. Can you hear how he transitions between two vowel sounds as he says, oh, oh. Oh. So, we are ready. Many non-native speakers will default to pronouncing this as an O oh vowel sound. So instead of saying so, they'll say so. Again, there's nothing wrong with this if you're doing this in English. If you do want to speak English with more of a standard British pronunciation, tweaking it to how he's done it here as an O oh diphthong is going to really help you to achieve that. Diphthongs, like long vowel sounds, can be challenging if you don't have them in your native language, and it can give you a massive improvement to your confidence and clarity of communication in English if you're pronouncing your diphthongs clearly, and the Ukrainian president is doing them very, very nicely here. I'm really impressed. I've got one more consonant for you, and then we're going to move into two areas of advanced English pronunciation that the Ukrainian president does like a native speaker. The final consonant that the Ukrainian president is pronouncing like a native English speaker is the ng sound in the word everything. Just go ahead and listen here to how the Ukrainian president says, I think you've read everything. I think you read everything. Can you hear how he didn't pronounce a G sound, G, at the end of the word? He didn't say, I think you've read everything, G. For non-native English speakers, a common difficulty because of how the words are spelt in English is when you see the N, G letters at the end of a word, many non-native English speakers will pronounce this as a G sound because they see a G sound there. When you get the N, G letters at the end of a word in English, you pronounce those two letters with the N mm sound, which is very simple to do. It might sound complicated, but it's very simple. I'll show you how to do it. You take your tongue and you put it into the same position that you would pronounce a G or K sound in English. So the back of the tongue comes up and touches the back of the mouth, just like you would if you were going to say the G sound that you can already say. Just go ahead and do that now. G, G, G. Now, with your tongue in that position, make noise out your nose just like you would if you were saying the M sound in English or the N sound. So, mm, mm. This might take some practice, and I'm gonna give you some follow-along exercises in the video that you're going to watch after this to master this, but basically what we want to avoid is pronouncing a G sound at the end of the words here. The Ukrainian president is pronouncing it just like a native speaker by saying everything instead of everything G. He can do it, you can do it too, and this is how you do it. In addition to pronouncing the sounds of English just like a native English speaker, the Ukrainian president has built what I call a native English operating system, which is to do with things like stress, rhythm, intonation. 
Every language has what I call a native English operating system. And when you speak English without a native English operating system, you basically have a much stronger accent in English. There's nothing wrong with this at all. If you want to speak English with much more of a native English accent, then building your native English operating system, which is what the British accent method teaches, is the fastest, quickest, and most effective way to do this, because it means that you speak English in the same way that a native English speaker does, with connected speech, rhythm, intonation, and stress so that when you take clear pronunciation of English sounds and put them onto that native English operating system, you speak like a native English speaker. And that's what I teach you here in these videos on YouTube, as well as in my British Accent Method coaching program. On the subject of the native English operating system, I want you to listen to the following sentences by the Ukrainian president and just pay attention to how certain words are much more stressed than others, certain syllables are much more stressed than others, and how this in English gives his communication a lot of clarity and a lot of emphasis and a lot of meaning because it makes it very, very clear the emotion and the stress that he wants to convey. I will uh, launch the anti-corruption court. It, it began to work on the 5th of September. Listen to how he says the 5th of September. On the 5th of September. Or anti-corruption court. Anti-corruption court. He puts perfect native English stress on the syllables that a native English speaker would stress to convey the meaning in the most clear and effective way in English. Mastering this is so powerful if you want to speak English without getting asked to repeat yourself, or if you want to make sure that the meaning that you're trying to convey is interpreted and understood very easily by native English speakers. Okay, so I'm blown away by how good his stress is in English. It makes his English very easy to understand. Just listen to this again. I will uh, launch the anti-corruption court. It, it began to work on the 5th of September. And now, finally, the final thing that the Ukrainian president does, like a native English speaker, is he uses intonation very, very effectively. In British English, there are five intonation patterns that you can use to capture your listener's attention, to convey your meaning much more effectively in English, and ultimately to speak much more like a native English speaker. The two most important intonation patterns in English are the rising intonation and the falling intonation. Just go ahead and listen to how he says, after five days, we had the new government. After five days, we had the new government. So can you hear how he said, after five days, and his intonation went up? After five days, what that means in British English is that there's more to come. So if I am speaking English and I use a rising intonation, that tells you as the person that I'm speaking to that I'm going to give you more information. It means I haven't reached the end of what I'm going to say. Then he uses a downwards intonation pattern on the word government. We had the new government. And the reason why this is important is using a downwards intonation pattern in English does two main things. The first thing it does is it conveys certainty in what you're saying. So basically, if you're a leader or you want to appear confident in English, using a downwards intonation when it's appropriate will show that you're confident in what you're saying and confident in yourself in English. It can also convey finality. So what he has done here is where he has used the downwards intonation is it has then conveyed to Donald Trump, who he's speaking to, that he has reached the end of that particular phrase in English. We had the new bound. This is very, very, very effective because one thing that can happen for non-native English speakers when they're speaking English is if they are consistently using different intonation patterns in certain scenarios is it can essentially come across as sometimes rude or disinterested or as uncertain in English. And these are three things that we really don't want you to be conveying when you're speaking English. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to master the two most common intonation patterns in English, and that's in this playlist for Ukrainian speakers. So check that out if you want to master British intonation just like the Ukrainian president has done here. So there you have it. There are the top things that the Ukrainian president is doing to speak English like an Native. There's absolutely no need for you to do any of this in English if you're a non-native English speaker. However, if you are someone that's, especially at the moment, finding yourself in a situation where you want to be speaking English more clearly, more confidently, or if all of a sudden you found yourself needing to speak English and it's not a language that you're very confident with, then following the Ukrainian president's lead 
on English and doing the things that he's doing to speak English like a native can create for you a huge improvement in your English pronunciation and that can give you a big boost in confidence, certainty and clarity when you're speaking English. My goal here at the British Accent Method is to give you confidence like a native. I believe that whether you're from the Ukraine or any other country around the world that you deserve confidence like a native when you're speaking English and that's why I create these tutorials on this YouTube channel and in my coaching program to give you confidence like a native. Because of what's going on in the world at the moment, I have taken the videos on this YouTube channel and put them into a course-like format for speakers of Ukrainian, Russian and Belarusian so that if you're a speaker of one of these languages and you're finding yourself wanting to quickly improve your English so that you can get by in English, then these videos will help you to do just that. In the video that you're going to be watching after this, that's gonna pop up on the screen now, you're going to be able to follow step-by-step -step instructions to master the consonants that the Ukrainian president is doing just like a native. And in the videos that you're going to see after that, you're going to be able to master the vowel sounds in English and stress in English, just like the Ukrainian president has done, and also native rhythm, native connected speech, and native intonation so that you can build your native English operating system and speak like a native English speaker. I'm here fighting for your confidence in English and I'll see you in this next video here right now.